something you wouldn't understand. We have inner beauty. Yeah, what? Inner beauty. <laughs> well, you better put your liver where your face is. <laughs> and evil, and most of all, you stupid. How would you like one across your lips? <laughs> Come on, try. Come on, you. Come on, Stumpy. Stumpy, I'm tall enough to give you three of these in your nose. Come on. Oh, no, you won't. Yes, I will. Oh, oh no, you won't. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, you won't. Oh, no, you won't. Stop it. Would you two stop it? Tell us. I'm surprised at you. You mean to tell me you'd hit a lady? No, I wouldn't hit a lady, but I hit her. <laughs> Here's your coffee, Aunt Esther. Thank you, Lamont. Why you always come around here and want to pick a fight with me, Esther? I didn't come around here to pick no fight. I came here to ask you a favor. Well, what is it? I'd like to use your place for our Sunday morning Bible meeting. Who, you mean you and all them cackling sisters you always be with? Uh-uh, this is a junkyard, not a hen house. <laughs> all we plan to do was to drink some tea, discuss a few chapters of St. Paul, eat some homemade cookies. The ladies were going to contribute for refreshments. Well, why do your group want to meet here in my junkyard? Well, number one, we try to bring the spirit to those who need it most. Uh-huh. <laughs> and number two, I felt it would be a good idea for Lamont's sake. Keep going. And number three, the places we usually meet in are unavailable. Bingo. <laughs> well, do we get it or don't we? No, you don't get it. I mean, as to why you think you come over here and I let you use my place? I was moved by the words of the good book. <laughs> he that asketh, receive it. And he that seeketh, find it. That's Matthew. <laughs> well, you have asked it and been turned down it. <laughs> Now find it someplace else. <laughs> That's Fred. <laughs> All right, Fred. But I feel sorry for Lamont. You've raised him to be a backslider just like yourself. Who you calling a backslider, witch? <laughs> I'm calling you a backslider because you do not believe. I believe. I believe I'm going to knock you out of here. <laughs> And what's more, you are evil-minded, selfish old man. Listen, Hep, if you ain't out of here, by the time I count to three, I put a lump on your head, look like a wig on top of a natural, on top of a wig. And if you lay one hand on me, I'll unscrew your arm from your shoulder and beat your brains out of you. <laughs> you are heathen. That you are a heathen. <laughs> you are no good heathen. And you're gonna pay for your sins one of these days, you miserable old buzzard. <laughs> I'm sure glad she's gone. But she never leave. Listen, son, I think I got a solution for our problem. I got it from Madam Big Mouth. <laughs> Would you mind telling me what you're talking about? Well, you know, she said something about her sisters contributing for the refreshments. So? So that's what we do. We invite a bunch of people here and charge admission on the door and sell them some food and drinks. You know, like the old Harlem rent parties. Well, I thought you said you still had your pride. Isn't that charity? How's it charity? I'm giving them something for their money, some food and drink. Uh, I don't think much of the idea. You don't think much of it? Nope. Well, I can think something myself, can you? What do you think? Well, First of all, where are you going to get the money to buy this food and drinks that you're going to sell? What do you mean? Didn't you say we had $30 between us? Yeah. Well, do you know how much pig feed, potato salad, and beer you can buy with $30? <laughs> you, can buy, you can buy enough stuff to keep a whole house full of people belching the whole weekend. <laughs>